This school is one of only a handful of places in the nation that has set up a whole school or college as opposed to a department in the computing and informatics space. I think that there are a lot of uh, academic, uh, great academic uh, opportunities within the School of Informatics and Computing and the opportunity to uh, work in an interdisciplinary, on interdisciplinary problems. I think there are a handful of schools that would compare in the, uh, in the amount of diversity we offer. And it's because Indiana University is so diverse, you know, where you go from one, um, one spectrum to the other when it comes to uh, research disciplines. And so if you look at the combination of the quality, the breadth, and the size, there's almost no other place like it. So the student has a really outstanding uh, array of faculty and opportunities before them. We have a large number of faculty who have backgrounds in um, logic and theory. We cover things from very theoretical sciences such as cryptography, or even mathematics and applied logic and things of that sort uh, to very applied areas such as bioinformatics or computer graphics and stuff like that. Well, currently I'm thinking very hard about the structure of uh, logic programming languages, especially in the context of constraint logic programming. The two things that interest me the most right now are uh, fraud on the internet and privacy. We like students to, to be competent in the broad part of their own area because they should be able to recognize those moments that something is a discovery. I graduated from this program and, and why I came is that I was interested in discovery and uh, the area that I'm in, data mining and machine learning, is about discovery. Bloomington is just a really special town. I, I still miss it. I've been in Boulder for five years, and I miss Bloomington. I love Bloomington, period. Uh, I've been here since 1973, and have had offers from you know, elsewhere, but I never want to leave. It's just, it's, it's really home, and I, and I think it's a fantastic community. The university is uh, very well known in some areas, such as music, which is quite unusual. And uh, you will also find here a lot of internet, if you're an international student, many colleagues. It's a large school, and yet all the graduate students really got along well together. So once a month, we would go out for dinners, uh, and just as the graduate students, just to talk. And, we, and I really developed some friendships that are lifelong. Essentially, all students get support the whole time here. And, um, that's quite unusual and uh, an important reason to come here. If you look at just the, the sort of number of what we give students compared to other institutions, it's pretty comparable. But the cost of living in Bloomington is so low that uh, students live quite well. We have services specifically for international students to address any of the needs and concerns of the international students. I talk to colleagues who have come from all over the world and many top universities and they, th they say that our technical infrastructure here, the network infrastructure here is comparable to the best they've ever seen. As a PhD student, um, you form a committee and then you actually have a mentor and this is, uh, we call an advisor at this university. This advisor shepherds you in the direction of the area that you're interested to work in and helps you, again, discover uh, answers to questions that uh, you and he or she may share. As far as I know, the, this is a very hot job market. Well, I, I know a lot of students who finished here, and these students are in a variety of different places. There are many, many different opportunities, starting with government labs, industrial research labs, uh, many of our students go to teaching institutions because that's what they want to do. IT is, uh, does not have a recession at the moment. And uh, not only do we educate you well, we will also send you off well.